this under these trees. We'll be okay as long as we stick together. Right, together. So they can eat us together? Look! 
We're safe as long as we stay away from his claws. And his teeth. There is not very much room for us and Thud. And Thud's teeth. Oh, I do not like being this close to a sharp tooth. Oh, well, this close to a mean one, I mean. I thought we just came this way. That dumb old earth shake changed everything. That earth shake also helped us escape Thud. You have to take the good with the bad, otherwise, you won't get to take anything. Hmm. Rescue us. <laughs> but they are our friends. Is that not what friends do? I guess not in the mysterious beyond. Chomper. Oh, I am sorry you are in pain. But I am not sorry you cannot reach us and then eat us. No, no, no. He said I'm too little, and he's right. If he gets loose, I'm too little to protect us. Or help us get out of here. I'm too little to do anything. You are sad about being little, but that is only on the outside. 
Today, you've been big enough on the inside to make me feel safe. You have, you have. Hey! <gasps> Are you all right? I am now. <laughs> showed it that Thud who is big. Our friends may be littler than Red Claw, but they always help us because they are big inside. together when we are someplace else together, like home. sorts of trouble the last time he was here. Well, I hope he doesn't bring any bad luck with him this time. Good game, guys! Yeah, next time Spike's on our team. <laughs> I do not think so. Oh, no, no, no. Guys! Guys! Who's coming back? Where have you guys been? Doc's coming back. Doc? Mm -hmm. It wasn't that long ago. Everyone thought the Great Valley's good luck had run out. 
because Soros Rock had been damaged. I tried to bring our luck back by taking a tooth from a dead sharp tooth. The only problem was the sharp tooth wasn't dead. tried to save me. But he had to fight two sharp teeth. That's when Doc showed up. anyone again. Thanks to Grandpa and Doc, the Lone Dinosaur. How exciting! Now I know why everyone's so excited. So where did the Lone Dinosaur go? Where's he been? He never stay in one place very long. And he is always alone. He is, he is. Well, yeah, that's why he's the Lone Dinosaur. But wherever there's trouble with sharp teeth, he'll be there. You said trouble, right? Yep. He always seems to know when sharp teeth are coming here. Uh, you don't think... Don't worry, Chomper. I think he'd understand about you. I don't know. Mm. How is Doc supposed to know Chomper's different? I'll tell him. Doc doesn't seem like the kind of long neck who likes to be told. He's after me, isn't he? Of course not. Could be. He'd never pick on a kid. But he'd always pick on a sharp tooth. Whatever's going to happen won't happen until it does. So let's all just get a good night's sleep so we're all well rested. Okay. You're right, Ruby. Good night, everyone. Good night, good night everybody. Don't worry, it'll be okay. If Doc's as good as they think, I'm sure he'll think you're good too. Huh? <sighs> Don't worry, it'll be okay. Don't worry, it'll be okay. scary, Chomper, but it was a sleep story, and now you're awake, so you shouldn't worry. Unless you fall asleep again. Or unless he's really coming after me! <gasps> Hi, everybody. Chomper had a scary sleep story that the lone dinosaur was coming to get him. So did I. Really? Was he trying to crush you with his tail? Um, no. He was trying to crush you. <gasps> huh? He's coming! He's coming for me! <gasps> Could be. No, he's not, Sarah. He only come for sharp teeth in past. See? So what do you want to do? 
Try to hide Chomper until Doc's gone? That's a great idea! Then that's what we should do. Okay, I'll try to distract Doc while you guys hide Chomper. <gasps> Sorry. Hello, kid. How have you been? Great! Watch, I've learned to whip my tail just like you! <laughs> you, uh, might want to work on that a little more. I will. Maybe you can teach me more tricks while you're back. Sure, kid. By the way, have you seen a long neck named Dara around? No. Who's Dara? Uh, she's my lady friend. Huh? Lady friend? Yep. She's the prettiest long neck these tired eyes have ever seen. I remember the first time I saw her. Her big blue eyes sparkled brighter than the big water itself. She understands my need to roam and has been my traveling partner for a while now. A lonely long neck couldn't ask for much more. But how can you have a partner? You're supposed to be out there alone. Well, I was for a long time. Right, and that's why you were able to keep an eye out for any sharp teeth causing trouble. Just the same, kid. You care to help me find Dara? She's a stranger to these here parts. Let's hope she hasn't run into any trouble. <laughs> but Doc, if you're busy spending time with Dara, how are you going to have time to protect all the other leaf eaters? <laughs> she said she'd meet me here. You can't be the lone dinosaur if you're not alone anymore. What are they doing? Uh, me think they're looking for something. He's coming for me. Aha, uh -huh. I was right all along. They coming this way! He's gonna find me! Littlefoot will not let Doc hurt you. Oh, no, no, no. Littlefoot's probably too little to stop Doc. Right. That's why we better find a place to hide Chomper. I really don't think she's here. Maybe she decided not to come. <laughs> she said she'd meet me here. So unless there's a problem, that's just what she'll do. He's even bigger than he was in my scary sleep story. And that's why we have to hide you. Now, where would Doc not think to look for a small little sharp tooth? <gasps> Will we all fit? Good thing me family not home today. Your good idea was really a good idea, Petrie. It was. It was. <laughs> Phew! I can finally calm down. We'll see. This way up high. Doc not find us here. Not find who where. Ah! Ah! You found me. We're supposed to keep Doc away. I know, but you promised. I'm sorry, Chomper, but it's going to be okay. Doc's not looking for you. He's looking for his lady friend, Dara. Right, Doc? <sighs> Doc? I can't believe you're friends with a sharp tooth. What do you mean? I mean, there's no use being friends with him. You're just gonna have to fight him someday. No, I'm not. Chomper's my friend, and always will be. Yeah, and I'll never fight my friends. Yeah, oh, of course he wouldn't. Would. Neat trick, teaching him to talk. Oh, he learned it all on his own. See? He is different. He is, he is. 
Maybe I can even use my snuffer to help you find your friend. Hmm. That'll be the day. What will? The day I ever accept help from a sharp tooth. But I'm telling you, Chomper's different. I ain't never had a good experience with a sharp tooth, and I don't reckon I'll start having one now. Let's go, little foot. No. <laughs> I'm not helping you anymore. Have it your way, kid. You know, I still think I could use my sniffer to help. That would show, Doc. Me want to help? Oh, me too. <laughs> what do you say, little foot? Just because you won't help Doc doesn't mean you shouldn't help Dara. You're right, Ruby. Come on, Chomper. Let's go find Dara. The smell's stronger this way. <laughs> She's got to be here somewhere. But we've looked everywhere. Oh, no! Look! Ugh. Ugh. Help! Please! Ugh. Little ones, please. You must find my friend Doc to help me get out. Dara! You know me? But how? Ugh. We'll never find Doc in time. We have to get you out of there now. But Dara too big. How we help her? Uh, there. We can use that tree to pull her out. All we have to do is bend it down to her. Great idea. We're coming, Dara. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Sharp tooth. It, it, it's true, but I just want to help. Try to grab the tree so we can get you out. A cute, helpful sharp tooth. Why, as I live and breathe. I can't reach her. Everyone, slide forward a little. No, kids! <laughs> what are we going to do now? We don't do anything. Look! Why you were late? Uh. And Chomper here? Why, he risked his little life to save me. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. What for? I was the one who was wrong, kid. You are different. I hope you can find it in you to give an old long neck another chance. Well, sure. Thanks, Doc. <gasps> You're it! Spike's in trouble! 
What'd he do this time? Spike fall into hole! So? It's too deep for him to climb out. Oh, dear. If I were Spike and I fell into a hole, I wouldn't want to be Spike. Can't he just dig his way out? No! Oh, he'd need a big head to dig like that. <laughs> well, at least my head isn't small. Yes, but if your head was on Spike, he wouldn't be Spike. And you wouldn't be you. I'm afraid I must concur with Ruby on this issue. Spike does not possess the strong, flat prow of a three-horn, nor the long neck of... well, a long neck. So how is Spike gonna get out? Do you think you could help us rescue Spike, Mr. Thicknose? Why, certainly. Just lead the way. <laughs> I'll believe it when I see it. Speaking of it, you're it! <laughs> Who is that? What is he doing here? And um, why is he eating my bed? <laughs> um, why don't you ask him and find out? I'm not asking him. You ask him. No way. You ask him. I'll ask him. <laughs> <clears throat> Greetings. I am Milo, and these are my friends, Lydia and Plower. <clears throat> Hello. Hello. <laughs> If you don't mind me asking, um, what brings you to our world? I don't understand. Maybe you're not supposed to. Huh? Huh? Maybe this stranger who fell from the mysterious above is... the big wise one. Big wise one? No, he's not. Where are you all going? Mr. Thicknell is going to help Spike out of a hole. He is? Well, good luck then. <laughs> Spike will need it. <laughs> I don't find anything funny about a young Spike tail in trouble. Come on, Sarah. I better show them how to save Spike. For you, big wise one. <laughs> oh, big wise one, I must know. Why is it that sometimes the ground shakes and shivers? <laughs> It is you who makes the ground shake. Oh, oh, thank you, Big Wise One. Oh, Big Wise One, when will I be ready to leave my parents' nest and forage on my own? Don't worry, Ducky. I'm sure I can think of a way to save Spike. Oh, thinking won't save Spike, but strength will. 
Now, Mr. Threehorn, in my experience, things like this require careful consideration. Consideration? Oh, bah! Let's just start digging. But if you dig in the wrong place, we might all end up down there. Are you suggesting that I would dig in the wrong place? Yes, you've got to think. Wrong place? That's right. I don't know any hole that's been dug by thinking. You've got to think. You've got to use strength. No, you've got to think. Strength. Think. Strength. Think. Strength. No, think. me not understand. Strength. Think. They helping Strength. Spike now think. or not? Strength. Think. Doesn't sound Strength. like the sound think. of Spike Strength. getting out to think. me. Strength. Think. So how is Spike going to get out of that hole? Oh, I do not know. But I do hope he is all right. I don't think we should wake him. Oh, what choice do we have? Oh, big wise one. You big wise one? Big wise one! <laughs> Maybe he's saving his strength. Maybe. Yeah, but the time has come to use that strength. <laughs> oh, big wise one. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, big wise one. We are sorry for the rude awakening, but it is time. Time to vanquish the great hideous beast. <coughs> the great hideous beast runs on two legs like a fast spider. Has the helmet of a three horn. And the big scary eyes of a night walker. <coughs> <coughs> Thank you for coming from the mysterious above to save us, big wise one. It's all up to you. <laughs> Bye. was soft enough to swallow Spike. We'll need to use rocks to stabilize. No time for that. We need to dig. I don't think it's that simple. <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. And you're being stubborn. Well, I wouldn't be if you'd just do things my way. <laughs> Did they agree on an idea yet? Me not know. Me too dizzy. Then we'll just have to agree to agree on an idea ourselves. Right. <gasps> what a 
about the sticky vines. They are very long. Yep, yep, yep. Not long enough to get all the way down the hole. But they can be even longer by curling one vine with another vine with another vine. Long enough to reach Spike? Spike can just curl the vines around his middle. Then we pull up the vines, and the vines pull up Spike. That's the best idea we've heard all day. Being the big wise one must make you very hungry. <laughs> so we've brought you all the food from our colony. <laughs> You're not getting any this time. <laughs> Enjoy! One from above wishes to go back to the mysterious above. Mm -hmm. Do you think Spike has seen it? Oh! I think so. Wrap it around your middle, Spike, and then tug it once you're ready, and we'll pull you back up. Ready? Bye. Oh, big wise one. You have protected us from the great hideous beast. It is right that you return to the mysterious above and protect others. Oh. <laughs> Where did the great hideous beast go? Huh? You are not Spike. No, no, no. I thought he felt lighter. If Spike's not here, then where... Oh, excuse you, Spike. <gasps> Spike? Spike! You back! Yay! Spy! Woohoo! Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> who was that? It doesn't matter who that was who was here. What matters is that Spike is the who that is here. And for that, I am glad. Mm. Very glad. If you just listen to me... Why should I? My way's better. But Mr. Thicknose and Mr. Threehorn. Spike's already been saved it. <laughs> well, um, uh, how nice. He would have been rescued earlier if you hadn't argued with me. You're the one who started arguing. I did not. Oh, yes, you did. I did not. Did so. Did not. Did so. Did not. 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 